Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again, back with another keyboard review for you. Now, this one is one of my most requested reviews, so I'm really excited to finally be bringing you this one. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Ducky Shine 7. So with that, I don't wanna keep you guys waiting any longer than I have to, so let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Starting as always with construction and design, the Ducky Shine 7 is a 104 key mechanical keyboard. The Shine 7 is the first Ducky keyboard to have a zinc alloy top cover, giving it a high quality feel, not to mention the added sturdy feel of the board. And this makes sense because zinc is three times stronger than aluminum. It has a beautiful finish and does a great job at resisting fingerprints. The Shine 7 is built like a tank. There's literally no flex when smashing down on the keys, and it's by far one of the heaviest mechanical keyboards I've ever tried. The Shine 7 is available in two colors, Gunmetal Gray and the more exclusive Blackout version, which you see here. Now, both of these versions retail for $159.99. It's just that one of them is easier to find than the other. Aesthetically, the board is fairly minimalistic. The footprint is not much larger than it has to be. And the only stylistic element is the angular accent to the wraparound top cover on the sides. Keeping with the clean design, the board does have four LED indicators that are neatly arranged over the number pad. The name Shine 7 inspires thoughts of beautiful bright lights. And yeah, that's exactly what you're gonna find with this board. Ducky uses advanced LED technology that gives off bigger, brighter lights. This is immediately apparent when you plug in the keyboard. Now I almost found it uncomfortable until I got used to it, but you can of course adjust the lighting if it's a little bit too much. The lights are controlled by Ducky's RGB software, which lets you customize up to six custom profiles. They offer a decent amount of preset lighting effects, but not nearly as many as I would like, and almost all of them are reactive effects, and you don't have the ability to layer the presets either. The software really isn't all that great for a keyboard of this quality. Thankfully though, this keyboard does connect with Razer Chroma Connect, so you can use Razer Synapse to control the lighting on the board, and even use it to sync two games like Apex Legends with their new Razer Chroma support, as you can see in this clip. So essentially, it's gonna let you have all the lighting power of Razer Synapse, which will significantly elevate this board's lighting capabilities. The lights themselves though are super bright and vibrant and are further accentuated by the reflective backplate behind the switches, which creates a really full lighting experience. And just keep in mind the flickering that you're seeing in the lights is from the camera and it's not something that you can see with the human eye. One thing I really like about the Shine 7 is that the space bar has three LEDs underneath it that will fully illuminate any custom space bar, just like the Year of the Dog ones currently being included with their boards. And if you've ever used a custom space bar on a board with just a single LED on the middle, you know exactly how much it sucks to only have the middle of that space bar illuminated. Like all of Ducky's keyboards, the Shine 7 uses Cherry MX switches and they're available in all of the mainstream varieties, including Cherry MX Blue, brown, red, black, speed, and silent. I love that they give plenty of switch options, ensuring that anybody can get a switch type that they like with their keyboard. Cherry MX switches are well known for their quality and offer a 50 million keystroke guarantee. The stabilizers on the Shine 7 are fantastic. There's no rattling or annoying ping sound, just solid smooth keystrokes throughout the entire press. I got my Shine 7 in Cherry MX Browns, and just so you guys can hear what I'm talking about, here is a quick sound test. The keycaps on the Shine 7 are made of double shot PBT plastic for superior durability and characters that won't fade over time. The font is clean and simple and all of the characters are well illuminated. And the keycaps have a nice pleasant smooth texture to them that feels really nice to type on. The Shine 7 connects to the PC via a removable USB-C cable. One of my only negatives with the Shine 7 is the use of this simple rubber cable. Since it is removable though, you could easily replace it with a cable of higher quality. The underside of the board has four rubberized pads and two step rubberized extendable legs to keep the keyboard in place during use, which combined with the weight of this thing, it's simply not going to move on your desk. There are also four dip switches under the board for things like moving the position of the function key and changing the board to an alternate layout. In terms of features, the Shine 7 uses a dual layer PCB for longer life expectancy and signal stability. It supports full N key rollover and comes with a few goodies in the box too. Ducky is currently throwing in a limited edition Year of the Dog spacebar, which you can see here, and you get a set of 10 colored PBT accent keycaps. 
These sets are selected randomly from four color options, red, blue, green, or yellow, although I have seen some purple ones too, as I got a set of purple ones with my 1-2 RGB. I really like the idea of random colors being included as it ensures a kind of uniqueness to each keyboard. And I think anything that adds a little bit of character to your keyboard is a good thing. The Shine 7 also has a set of dedicated volume buttons above the number pad. And lastly, Ducky gives you a nice wired keycap puller so you don't have to worry about scratching those nice PBT keycaps. Like I said, the only real negative I have with the Shine 7 is that the cable could be a little bit better with a board of this quality, but that's easily replaced, and the software really isn't all that great, but that too can be mitigated somewhat with the Razer Chroma Connect support. The Shine 7 simply oozes quality. Every facet of the board is top notch, from the zinc top case to the super bright LEDs. The keycaps feel great, and the typing experience is superb. For $159.99, the Shine 7 is an incredible keyboard and is absolutely worth every penny. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Let me know in those comments down below what you think about the Shine 7. And while you're down there, give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support. If you're new here on the channel, I'd love to see you subscribe. I've got a lot more videos like this coming for you in the near future. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.